Iron, jeez. Something to report? Your objective is the enemy held fort. Meet the soldiers preparing for the attack. Then join them in wiping out the rebels. Once you prevail, we will garrison the fort. Well, soldier, are you up to the task? I knew I could count on you, soldier. Really? Trust me, this is faster than you think. I really don't care. Can we hurry this up? Anytime now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stay sharp. We're taking the city. Meet the soldiers gathering for the attack. Move it!
forever. Me, I didn't care. Did that to kill all these dudes? Oh, God. Mm -hmm. You got that right. I'm gonna skip that part and I don't care. But I was gonna skip it, I could care less about our other nonsense. This seems fitting to use an axe. Or a sword. Target attack. Health and stamina. Burn the targets and targets on fire. It takes extra damage. Okay, whatever. Yeah, whatever. I don't care. The Dragonborn be the one to do it. It'll make for a better song. Song or not, I just want it done. Here, use my sword to do it. I made sure to sharpen it for the occasion. <laughs> I don't expect there to be any further violence. Oh, and Legate, it's been an honor to have you at my side. As a token of my appreciation, I want you to keep my sword. And now to deliver a speech. What I do, I do for Scott. There are those who still call themselves Stormcloaks, who continue to fight us and bring misery to the people, but they are few in number. 
The ordinary citizen will be happy to get back to life as normal, to have their families return home, and they should enjoy it while they can. I suspect all of Tamriel will again be called to arms in the not too distant future. The general put me in charge of assisting the new governments. I may understand things here in Skyrim better than the general, but I'm a soldier at heart, not a politician, but I'll do my best. This is the land of my birth, the land that shaped me. I'm proud to have any part in making it strong again. The Legion's work is far from finished, but you are free to roam. I suspect you'll be a greater good to Skyrim out there. If, if, while you're out there, you stumble into any Stormcloak military camps, I expect you to destroy them. I report they are hiding in the hills. Mm -hmm. Stormcloak is dead. His head will be sent to Cyrodiil, where it will adorn a spike on the walls of the Imperial City. Let this day be a final warning to all who would still call themselves Stormcloaks. We are turning the city over to Brunwolf Freewinter, an honorable and faithful man. Many of you will be staying in Windhelm to aid the Jarl in restoring order and stamping out any embers of rebellion that may still smolder here. In appreciation for your exemplary service, I am doubling your pay and compensation to the widows of your fallen comrades. I am proud of all of you. All hail the Emperor. Come on, give me, give me a second. I hate giving speeches. It wasn't so bad. I hope we haven't just created a martyr. There's bound to be resistance. There are many storm cloak camps tucked away in the hills. They'll no doubt strike whenever and wherever they can. But without Ulfric to inflame their passions, they'll settle down and return to their homes eventually. I pray you're right. In the meantime, we'll continue to root them out and put them to the sword. We couldn't have done this without you. The Empire glories in your accomplishments. Come, Rika. There's still much to be done. We did it! We sure showed the 